Well, thank you, and congratulations. Mm -hmm. They talk about Americans in the Persian Gulf. Yeah. What was your experience, Mr. Finley? What was my what? Experience. Well, we didn't have any fighting in our area. Uh, we were at the southern part of Iran, and so that the uh, railroads came down to within, well, they came down to the, to the docks, which is, uh, Were you in Iran, Iran when the, the Tehran conference occurred? Yeah. Okay, I see here's the picture, yep. That's a dock that the seven ships could tie up to, and they even put some out in the river, river and uh, used the crane on the ships to lower the heavy stuff, and then it went upstream to a place cr across from Basra, uh -huh. which is in Iraq. Right. And then they put them on railroad cars and trucks, and uh, <clears throat> of course, uh, this is, like I said, the Shad El Arab, but it's in three sections. What was your role? What was your job there? Me, I had various jobs. First was working on a ship. Tell me about Jane Russell. Jane Russell, she couldn't stand the heat. You saw her though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she was with Jack Benny. Is that right? And and so the magazine said someplace in Italy. Well, when you look at the figures for this railroad car, then you know that you're not Italian writing. Then you came back after the war. If you had to give a message to your children or your, your grandchildren about the war, what would it be? Well, I'd say that uh, stand up for your rights. Well, that's terrific. Thank you. In fact, this fellow, I didn't know he was there until after I got back to the States and was home. How ironic. But he... This is Norm Van Vlack, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. His uh, place of business was uh, on this road that goes down to the place where I was guarding. and. They assembled the trucks in that building. That's oh, right. And he was in charge of that and also getting drivers to learn how to drive them. And they'd fill them up and, load, and then he'd take them north into Tehran. From Tehran, they'd either go to the left or to the right.